Hello everyone And thank you for coming to the channel Yes We on my flight I like to call The Missy Missy plane We have taken into the stratosphere We're up feeling Wonderful in the sky And we just have to be messy While we up here in the clouds Okay and I'm bringing Aunt Bertha with me Candy's aunt Okay Cause she don't be here for the shits either but what is going on in our world today when we get on a platform and we are supposed to be talking about current events, social events, philanthropy type stuff and the feel good stuff and just expressing our opinions on the day to day, the comings and goings of living life and talking about the people that are actually Doing something in life that we can talk about, you know, the ratchetness of celebrities and reality stars and the things they get themselves into. And then we go from the political arena, arena <coughs> political arena, and we, we get invested in politics and how it runs our world and ruin our lives to a certain degree. And we just be wanting to put hands on folks. We, we be wanting to go and night insurgents on the Capitol and, you know, and he telling folks, our previous president, to go drink Clorox and it should kill the Ovid and just a whole lot of ridiculousness going on. But certain people can say what they want and nothing is done to them because it's justified. It becomes justifiable and the people that get away with it they are seem like they're untouchable like Kanye West said that slogan of an idea that popped in his head that uh slavery was a choice <laughs> <laughs> now as you know everybody was just outraged of what he said they were like trying to cancel him cancel culture and this that and the third and this is, what, this is what that man had said. And this is that what that man had thought. And whether or not he was just saying it to spark a conversation uh, in the world today. To start a dialogue. To understand what he was saying or trying to say. Or everybody putting their opinions and their speculations on it. But the man was just speaking. And I'm like, have we come? Have we become a society where... We don't want you to say anything unless it's appropriate and it affects no one. And I'm like, what life do we live in? What world are we live in? Because somebody's always out there saying something against another race. And I fully understood what Whoopi was talking about. Because think about it. What race is the only race of a people that nobody we're going to exclude the race that I'm talking about. But anybody outside that race want to be a part. Or I wouldn't say want to be a part. But want to be in that race. Look at that same color. And, and have those dynamics. Negative or positive put towards you. What person. Out of the black American. African American race. Would want to be black. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'm still hearing, still hearing crickets. And when I was in college, we took a class of a course of a white professor asking a predominantly white classroom or auditorium because she was like a professor and it was in this big old like cinema type background setting where she was at the podium talking and showing films, film strips behind her or lecturing, I should say. And she had the pupils up in the audience in a sense <clears throat> but did you think any any one of them stood up and said yes i would like to be a part of that race uh-huh and nobody and that was just an eye-opening experience to me that she would be bold enough to make that statement and call an account for her own race to understand the dialogue that can be made if they don't want to be a part of the black race how do you think that group of people or that culture feel on a day-to-day -day basis so it would be fair to say they know meaning the jewish the white the asian community and i know damn sure the native americans because we don't even want to get 
get involved with what they had to go through. But it would be fair to say that it has been some, if not all, of our lives discrimination on a level where they are racist. They are discriminatory towards us. And hell, we being black and women, we get the double standard one, you know. I mean, not the double standard, but we get two helpings of infractions put on us. But I'm like, I just don't understand. Would be just express her opinion. And if I'm not understanding this correctly, the vo- the view is nothing more than a spot where you talk about issues. You talk about concerns in the community. You talk about political stuff. Anything that has legs, it was fair game for the view c- commentaries. Because that's what they are, personality commentary. Com- com- <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, they're opinionated social commenters so commenter or commenters or, you know they discuss commentary on everything that's out there in the walk of life that's what you see them as they're individuals making their own logical reasoning judgment on what they feel about a certain subject but now we're ready to toss this woman out on her head we're ready to strip her from her post where she talks about in and everything that they want to discuss on that platform and i don't know if any of them have degrees to tell you the truth and someone could have been bought the only person i like other than whippy there is joy bahar uh bear b-e-h-a-r i might not be pr- pronouncing that right <coughs> but she don't she she cut up too and she gets to the point where she gonna say what she got to say because remember when she said something that gay people uh need to stop being in a the closet they need to come out for christmas um did she get sentenced to two weeks notice did she get suspended or even the thought of saying oh well let's uh fire her no is it fair to say because she doesn't look like whoopie whoopie's color that she gets a, a sliding pass to say and do whatever she wants and they'd be like okay don't do that no more but she didn't get a suspension she didn't get uh told talked to behind the closed doors and reprimanded and all this stuff but let me just give you an update on miss whoopi in case y'all didn't know her and i was very surprised about her educational background i thought the woman had a college degree but as you can see we can be fair to say well whoopi do you like black men <laughs> do you like your race it would be fair to see say that because i would see I'm not see. I had saw when I was doing film cl- clips or choosing visuals for you all to um have while I talk. Uh, to give y'all understanding, a better understanding with visuals and you know speaking, you know you can go follow along a little bit better. But yeah, that man. I think his name was uh, Alvin Martin. Okay, and you can see he's white. I don't know if he's Jewish, Irish, but the first thing is he's white. It's what you would probably look at until you have a conversation with him. And he might have a dialect or a, um, a language barrier uh, to, that's, that you're not familiar with. And he may sound a little different, which may think you, which you may think it could be a, nor- a northerner or a southerner or, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Whippy, real name is not Whoopi Goldberg, okay? But Goldberg is like a Jewish name, but I think it comes on her mother's side. And yeah, honey, them white men love they self from Whippy. Ted Danson had an affair while they were on a film set together. And it cost him $30 million because he was messing with Whippy. He was like, hey, uh, you, you're going to be with me, you're going to be with her. And the reason that you want to leave me to be with her, you're going to pay. So, yeah, he took care of Wh- Whippy. I guess she was sick at some time. And, you know, he um, got her back to good health and they dated and whatnot. But I really don't know why they didn't get together as husband and wife. Because I actually thought they were married. But when I researched it a little bit, no, they were just lovers. They just had an affair. And, of course, she was married to a Lyle Trettingberg and a David uh, Callison. And I'm going to start a Jewish name. Or Irish name. But either or. Uh, they were white. Because first time when you look at somebody that has those striking. Uh, and it's not really white. It's like a beige. 
because you know when they're white meaning the caucasian race that's like a white piece of paper and if that's the case they don't have no blood dripping in them they pretty much dead so i'll just call them the beige people or the caucasian people so um that was that was just her preference i don't know if somebody in our culture did her wrong when she was growing up and experiencing guys for the first time or whatnot and she just had a bad taste but honey baby she loved herself some white men so she can't be racist people she cannot be racist and then she hang out with the jewish community so no for me i think it's the woman was just speaking her mind and i think she may have been using it for shock value just to see what she could say out there and how people would respond and see if people were feeling it or did we still have that res uh, resonating pulse in the back that says racism will always stay because humanity just won't go away with their bad thinking their flawed thinking because i think how she was saying it was man until they understand each other's pain and strife and they understand their background and their history they would never be together you see what i'm saying it's almost like man is trying to make society become extinct and until we or man and human race or human mankind can get together and work it all out equally we will always be in a situation where one group of people will be dominated while other group of people be subjected to, in a sense, a form of slavery. So, I understood where we were going with it. But everybody else was just getting all up in their feelings. And I'm like, when Megan McCain was going around now on The View, expressing herself, this, that, and the third, you know, they didn't take her off. You know, they had to really police the views i guess owners or whatnot to say this woman got to go she is too much she doing this that and the third but she had a long reign before they let her go okay then you know like i said they didn't hold harvey levin on tmz they didn't boycott him and say oh you had kanye west over there and he was just spilling all kind of hatred and he was just not saying what was right for the african-american community and we need him to pay you know but that that wasn't nothing going on about that and then that woman over a shark tank calling whoopie fat and stuff and thought she couldn't get away with it you know it was some hell about that but she didn't lose her position over there trying to find new and interesting uh we call it uh entrepreneurs to try to help them further along their product in a massive way in a massive distribution type of way hell uh patrick what name patrick swayze when they played ghosts he probably wanted a little piece of taste of whip or uh, whoopie okay but going back to just give y'all a little background on whoopie her real name is not whoopie goldberg her real name is karen now would that be fair that she going around here and start all this stuff and her real name is Karen, Lord. The black Karen done came out. All right, but that's her daughter also, Alexis. Oh, my goodness. But anyway, her name is Karen Elaine Johnson. Now, if that ain't a white person name, I don't know what. All right, now I'm a Johnson. Johnsons go deep. All right. I guess the slave master had us. I don't know, but I love my Johnson name. Oh, but anyway, that was just my pun intended with my opinionated self and of course whippy's op opinionated too but her name is karen elaine johnson but she you know went on and called herself whoopie goldberg maybe it's a stage presence or whatnot and her date of birth was november 13th okay she's 66 years old she's american dead you know, that's why you can't take for uh Batum, what you find on wikipedia or when you pull up a person's bio because you're interested in them and you just want to see their accolades or whatnot, or where they come from, they had her as an American actor. Now, I know they always been saying Whoopi is a man and, and this, that, and the third. I'm like, I don't see no man and Whoopi. You know, she just looked like she had a hard life, but she cute. And, and Whoopi don't like wearing makeup. She just don't like putting herself together how most, uh, well, some women like to glam up and stuff. She's not that type. I'm not that type. But she don't look, well, sometimes she can't look like a man depending on what she wearing and all like that. So I'm going to get y'all there. But, you know, it just, yeah, well, hell, I look and look like men when we don't want to dress up and we don't want to do that. We just want to be in our shorts or our sweats and a big t-shirt. Yeah, we can't throw our hair back in a, in a baseball cap or something or just pull it back. Yeah. 
It can be that way sometimes, but we have that prerogative. But anyway, she's a comedian. She's an author. And, she, of course, she's a television personality. We're going to give her the uh, spot of a comment, uh, uh, commentary person or uh, personality, television personality over the view. She's been there for so long. And I'm like, if, 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 women don't need this show. She really don't. She's she, at the age of retirement. I don't know if she put stuff in Social Security where she could draw that check and then continue to make her check. Or she just makes that much and invests it well. So I would be wise to say she don't need that that check she probably just coming in there to just tape a little keep her mind together you know her memory her thoughts together and what better show than to be opinionated on is a platform such as the view you don't really have to work okay you don't really have to come up with a, a topic of discussion you just have to show up get a little makeup here and there dress appropriate and get on television and your topic is presented and you only have so many seconds to express how you feel about it now how hard is that okay and then if she wants to go on the late show and all those uh shows just promoting herself or whatnot she can do that as well she built for that all right but it just is what it is but she used to live in chelsea new york and believe it or not, she was the first American woman to host the Academy Awards. And she also won an Emmy Award and an Academy Award, a Grammy Award, and a Tony Award. Okay, but her first film that took her to stardom, I would say, I thought it was Ghost. Because I really liked it, that picture with Demi Moore and Patrick Swayze. But I didn't know what put her on the map was the color purple. Now, how dreadful is that? For the black community to see us in slavery and, you know, we're not really slavery at then because they were free. But she was enslaved in a, a very abusive, obsessive relationship with a man that she had to marry when she was a kid. Now, now how, that's so stupid. Ooh, that's, I don't like that whole image. I don't like that whole stereotype. I hated the color purple. When they bought that movie, I hated it. Because I was like, oh my goodness. How do you say, OMG? I saw it one time, I'm like, I don't ever want to see that movie again. I don't ever want to see that movie again. Because it just degraded us. I mean, as a culture, and just picking cotton, and all those slavery pictures Oprah liked to be a part of. I was like, uh-uh. But I'm carrying on too far. But I was just giving y'all that background. And she had three grandchildren. I did say she had an affair with Teddy Dance, right? Okay. Let's just get into the meat and potatoes now. Since I gave y'all a little short background of who she was, what she was doing, and what she's about. And she's dyslexic as well. Now, Whoopi climbed all these ladders of success without, one, ever finishing high school. She has a disability, which is dyslexia. And she's accumulated such wealth. Entrepreneur. Well-known actress. You know, I mean, when you see her, you know exactly where she's coming from, where she at, who she is. And you know how many educated women of different races and back and cultural backgrounds have any need a third of this? So somebody like her. Somebody like her in the Jewish race. Somebody like her in the white race. Okay? So for people to say she's so insensitive, she this is that she should be ashamed of herself, I... It's just somebody's opinion. It don't make it right. It don't make it wrong. It's just their opinion. They're having a conversation where everybody can hear their input and their suggestion or perception of a particular topic on a large forum. But they're not asking for you to come to them and, you know, say all these crazy things like you don't say it when you're at home. Like you don't say it when you with your good girlfriends or good guy friends. Like y'all don't have those conversations. They're just in private. But you probably totally agree with Whoopi. But too ashamed to say, oh, I would never say that in public. Well, if you're going to say it in private, you, you are just as worse. You're just as bad. You still said it or you thought it. You still just no. you're no good either. You're not perfect. But I applaud with I, I mean, or oh, Whoopi. Girl, speak your mind. 
and let the cookies crumble wherever they need to. Because, hey, y'all, if they want to get rid of you, you can get rid of yourself. You can make it easy on them. And will they get that support, that garnership, that viewership? I don't think so. I think it would tank. Now, I'm not saying they can't bring somebody up, but Joy can't handle it by herself. And them other people that's up there talking, don't nobody want to listen to them. They really don't. So, they they need Whoopi more than they trying to put on. But they're trying to save face, meaning the powers that be. And they want people to continue to watch the show. Because they know Whoopi's the one that's bringing them ratings. If you ain't got um, Whoopi there, you ain't got a storyline. You, you ain't got a topic. Because she be on y'all asses. Excuse me. She be on the asses as much as she can try to and get to on a topic. She ain't got on the uh, president. And spoke her mind. But didn't nobody say fire her. They didn't fire that lady. I don't know what that lady's name. But that's the one on Shark Tank. She called Whoopi fat. Okay. And it was so much overpour of love for Whoopi. And they wanted to go trash this woman. But that's what that woman thought. She thought Whoopi, uh, Whoopi was fat. Can she not say that? But like I said. Stones were thrown at her. But they didn't say they were going to get rid of her off the show. They didn't say any of that. But I just thought it was just very crazy that, as a society, we still haven't come to the conclusion where we can have a true dialogue about a particular subject and let people say what they truly feel about it without somebody getting hurt or feelings getting hurt. So, I don't know. That's just my perspective. Y'all get in them comments and let me know what y'all thought about whipping and how they trying to... Uh, in a sense, enforce that she do certain things they want her to do to create the look that they've created for such a long time to stay intact. When in actuality, ain't nobody checking for the view. And instead, it's just like YouTubers going on their own platforms such as mine. And I'm presenting y'all with a topic or issue or concern. I'm giving you my viewpoint on what I feel. And then I'm inquiring that, or encouraging, I should say, that you all dialogue back with me and tell me what y'all thought about it you know putting your personal feelings in it or you coming with true logic reasoning and facts to support your rebuttal on what i said or you may totally agree with me that's how the view is it's just they're on a very large platform and they're getting paid nicely because it's a part of the entertainment field to sit up here for so many hours or how many times they have to come to the office and tape whatnot to give y'all foolishness. Because it's just their opinion. They have no logic, no reasoning, no true uh, receipts, as y'all like to say, to support what they're saying. Because it's individual, opinionated people giving their advice or their perception on the subject. I don't know why folks just don't get it. But they don't get it. They ain't gonna get it. But let's go into timesofisrael.com this is where i am getting this source from yep now these little older men or younger men that y'all are seeing whoopi being close to those were her husband husband okay yes they were she liked it herself some bright and white <laughs> men of choice okay and like i said i don't care who you love you love the same sex ain't got nothing to do with me Y'all ain't beating each other over there. Y'all ain't disrespecting each other over there. I ain't got nothing to do with it. Well, I'll say about it. But whoever you love, that's you. That's just between you and your God, okay? That's all I got to say. And what race you want to go into. But anyway, let's get into this. This was written by Gabe uh, Friedman. He, uh, his, t his title was The View Holocaust Controversy Are Jews White? Is Whoopi Goldberg Jewish? You know what I'm saying? Well, hell, if you ain't black or you ain't kind of, what do you call it, melanated, or the brown persuasion, persuasion, even Asians to a certain degree, and it's just my opinion, I believe they think they white too. I think they want to be white. Now, I'd be wrong. I could be wrong, but this is my opinion. And any other race out there that is very light bright, because you have too many people in our race that are very light bright that want to pass for white. And they have done it. History has shown it. Nobody wants to be melanated and put in or labeled as black or African American. Because they know it's a hard toe to roll. You got to have thick skin. That's why I love myself some black people. I love myself. 
because we are the ones that set the tone where we're still innovators, we're still motivators, we have uh, good uh, relationship building skills, even though we don't practice it as much, you know, because the family's kind of tore back, tore down. But I think because we'd be looking at the European way of how to raise a child and have that stability and all like that. And then when you have... You know, uh, the black man kind of, well, you know, we they can educate themselves now. I'm true of that. And so I ain't going to take up totally for a uh, black man because sometimes the black man is lazy, you know. They want to have a woman out there, you know, uh, bringing home the baker, frying it up, and taking care of the household. So I'm talking about the responsible uh, men that have, you know, a good foundation or spirituality with their God and they're trying to do the right thing. They're trying to provide for themselves and their family, you know, and they're trying to educate themselves and educate their family as well. You know what I'm saying? Just be a well-rounded individual and love on everybody. Don't hate nobody. And then the world could be very beautiful and we don't have to have all these labels because I'm like, who thought of these damn labels for us? You know what I'm saying? Was it the white man? Was it the Jewish man? Which one? Because they say both of them run the world. Okay. Or do you, you know, the aristocrats over there, the elite. They damn sure ain't black. Okay. I'm just keeping it real on my channel. All right. But anyway, going back to the commentary, it says, host comments strike nerves among many Jews, but also bring to four questions about identity that has never been easy to answer. That's right. Because Jews do look white. Unless they have their little hat on or their little shroud thing or they talk a certain way. You, you can tell what I'm saying. But I don't think they want to be black either. I don't. If they had to choose between stapling themselves Jewish yet European Jewish or African American Jewish, which one you think they're going to prefer? I'll just put that out there and let you marinate on that one. But anyway, it says she may not have meant to, but this week Whoopi Goldberg wadded or wadded. Waded into a large or charged discourse that has polarized the Jewish community and those who seek to discriminate against them for centuries. And I'm like, come on, y'all. The Native American Indians have definitely been discriminated on. We, as a black American race, have been discriminated on. We know the Jews have been, because of the Holocaust, have been discriminated against. You know, the Nazis play a very big part of that. But they are not the only ones, okay? The only ones that I know that haven't been discri discriminated against is the Caucasian race, okay? The privileged race, all right? But going back, that was just my sidebar. Uh, the controversy began brewing on The View, the daytime talk show she co-hosts during a discussion Monday over the recent controversy over a Tennessee school board's decision to ban mosses. And I don't know what uh, M-A-U-S is. Y'all check it out because I didn't look at this word or begin reading this article until I am uh, viewing it and reading it with you all when I'm making the video. But it says the iconic graphic memoir about the Holocaust. The genocide was not about race, she said. It was instead about man's inhumanity to man. And it involved two white groups of people. Okay? Now, y'all might want... Yeah, let me read that again, Okay? It was about man's inhumanity to man. And it involved two white groups of people. Okay? Because even you would say the Nazis, they may have been German, but they, um, I bet you they weren't on uh, uh, African American Germans or no Native American Germans. They considered themselves white Germans. Okay? Or European Germans. All right? So I could see what she was trying to say, but most people misconstrued or took out of context what she was really trying to say which when you want to start some shit that's how people get it started you know they take one thing they have their own perception about it and they go talk amongst another group of people and then it goes grow legs and it just ooh, it turns out into a big old fire okay and it just was a fire of mess that they wanted to just throw whip it on into the volcano you know what i'm saying and i'm like no 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 don't throw the bad don't throw the baby out with the uh the bad dish water or the, the bathing water don't throw the baby out with the bad water okay this can be salvaged it's just the interpretation of how she said it, which I got it right off the bat. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, well, damn, that was very profound. You know what I'm saying? To talk about another race and how you viewpointed and pointed things out. Just like Kanye said, slavery was a choice. Now, we really took that to hand. The slaves would have outnumbered the slave masters. So, in theory, that sounded good. 
But in actual practice, could you get all the blacks together to go and do that type of feat? The walk off the cotton field, say, forget you, man. <laughs> we deuces. We leaving. We finna go create our own colony. We finna go do our own thing. And we we don't want you to come try to stop us. Now, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> so, his idea was just fear. Fear of man. Going back to what Whoopi was saying. The inability to sit down at a brotherhood table and discuss how can we live amongst each other with our different backgrounds. You see what I'm saying? That's all it was about, people. But moving on. Okay, it said, uh, the comments immediately went viral and struck a nerve leading to what Goldberg described as a deluge of accusations, anti-Semitism, and Holocaust denial and criticism from groups like the anti defamation league okay despite multiple apologies the storm reached a climax on tuesday night when abc decided to suspend goldberg from the view for two weeks to take time to reflect and learn about the impact of her comments in the words of abc news president kim going and kim going need to go straight over there and have a time out okay better than what i wanted to say but you know i'm trying to do better but she need to take a time out herself because Freedom of speech is a wonderful thing. And everybody gets to speak it. And some people just don't get to speak it because they get shut down. Now, again, do I think it was a shock factor? Maybe. Just to stir up and to get the ratings a little bit up over there at ABC. I'm just saying. And they used her as the catalyst to ignite the flame that they had already set in front of her. And that's just my theory because, you know, I'm a conspiracy person. All day, every day. You know, I might be looking for the other angle. Where are you not telling us behind this situation? Because we ain't have nothing to lose now. Don't get me wrong. She don't need nobody to look at her no more, talk to her no more, endorse her anymore. Because she got her money. You know what I'm saying? It's all good in the neighborhood. But then it just showed her who really rocks with her. And if you think no Jewish people ain't still rocking with her and the white folks ain't still rocking with Whoopi. Y'all got another thing coming. Okay, I'm just saying. Y'all got another thing coming. But anyway, uh, going back to it it says uh jewish across the political spectrum included many who objected to her original remarks criticized the decisions to suspend her why did the comments create such a firestorm the answer extends well beyond the holocaust okay um then they have a section where it says was holocaust about race after her initial comments circulated goldberg went on the late show which was stephen colbert uh, Colbert, I, some people say Colbert, but I don't know. It seems like it says Colbert. On um, Monday, attempted to clarify the situation. In doing so, she dug deeper into the race issue. In her experience as a black person, she said, race is something I can see. If the Ku Klux Klan is coming down the street with a Jewish friend, I'm going to run. Hell, I'm going to run with you too. <laughs> I'm going to run for shelter until I can get packing. <laughs> Because if it's going to be the wild, wild west, you could best be for sure. I'm going to defend myself. Somebody, I'm taking somebody with me when they try to take me out. Somebody going with me, okay? They're going to the pearly gates with me. And we're going to see if we can try to get in from all our infractions we did here on earth. All right. But I'm taking somebody with me. But I'm going to run if I ain't already lot loaded and ready to spray. Okay? So, <laughs> we'll, we'll be, I'm with you on that one, baby. But anyway, but if my friend decides not to run, they'll get passed by most times because you can't tell who's Jewish, she said. It's not something that people say, well, that person is Jewish. Now, you write about that, and I told y'all about that earlier when I was giving y'all my spiel. Uh, but it is a, um, they did a little post where Nicholas, somebody on Twitter, um, said sparks fly as the view panel comforts, comforts, confronts Whoopi after she says the Holocaust isn't about race. No, it's about race. Well, the considered Jews a different race, Joy Beher said. All right, but it's all about white supremacy. It's all about going after Jews and gypsies. All right, and then we go back. It says, race is notoriously difficult to define. Is it like Goldberg claim? A group of people with shared physical characteristics can other social, economic, and anthropological classifications factor in. Jews have long debated whether they are a race or something else. Judaism is a religion practiced by people of all varieties and races across the globe. But Jews do not have to be practitioners to regard themselves or be accepted by other Jews as Jews. The Jewish tradition of 
uh, matri matrinity, defining as Jews, a child born of Jewish mother, points to a biological definition of Jewish identity. But Judaism also accepts converts. Taken all together, these various understandings have led Jews to regard themselves and others to regard Jews variously as people, a nation, a tribe, a family, and faith, sometimes in various combinations, sometimes all at the same time. But Hitler, many anti-Semitics or Semites before him specifically and repeatedly in writings and laws and speeches labeled Jews as a physical emperor, savage, descended race in contrast to what he termed the blonde, blue-eyed, genetically pure German Iran rice race. Nazi propaganda promoted sewer scientific ways to supposedly identify Jews by the size of their nose and lips or the shape of their head, among other things. Now, people, does that, does that profiling remind you of another race or group of people that are being infringed upon to this day? I'll let that marinate with you all. Put it in the comments if y'all dare to. Okay. Uh, Hitler was obsessed by what he considered the biological fact of Jewish identity and wrote that the final solution was inspired in part of his derived or his drive to create a more pure and singular human race rid of Jewish and other impurities. Now, you, hey, if they got rid of the Jew, what you think they want to do with us? All right. And we saw what they did to us. Okay. All right. Um. <clears throat> The Nazis drew on traditional of racially stereotyping Jews that scholars have traced at least to a thousand CE. The long hook nose trope, for example, appeared in everything from medieval paintings to fictional characters like the villain Shocklock from Shakespeare's The Merchant of Venice. So the Jews were persecuted as a race by their neighbors in Europe and everywhere for centuries before Hitler allowed many of his ideals in men calf in a jail cell in 1925. And the next day uh apology on the view of the on tuesday goldberg said the holocaust is indeed about race because hitler and the nazis considered jews to be an inferior race goldberg also stumbled into an ongoing debate within and beyond the jewish community are jews white people behind this question is another stereotype that a jew is a person with white skin descended from european ancestors in other words an average uh i can't pronounce that word ashkenazi jew in reality, the Jewish community is considerably more diverse than that. The majority of Jews in North America may be Ashkenazim, Jew with roots in Eastern Europe, but both Jews also descend from ancient communities in Ethiopia, India, China, and beyond. Okay, and the separate sporadic Jews come from communities in Northern Africa and what is now Spain and Portugal. White Mazrazi Jews come from the Middle East, including once vital communities in Iraq, Iran, Yemen, Syria, and other countries. Okay. And, you know, we could go on and on and on. This is add-on people from all types of races and ethno ethnical backgrounds who convert to Judaism, those who practice Jewish traditions without having undergone formal conversions, and people around the world who strongly identify with some aspects of the... Uh, a Jewish culture and Jew quickly becomes an extremely hard to define term. Okay. So, I mean, we could go on and on and on, but it's just like, that's just too much. It's too much. It's too much. And as you can see how they're trying to say European white Jewish. That's it. Wasn't that what Rupert was trying to say? Was that not what she was trying to say? Okay. The Nazis considered themselves European white. The Jews consider themselves European white. So you have two white people trying to infringe on either or. Well, one one uh, set of cultures trying to infringe on another one. Like Christopher Columbus, you know, and the Indians and stuff of that nature. Trying to take over and stuff. That's why they call them the blue-eyed devil. All right? And they never sat, you know, really well with them since then. But to put all of it in perspective, what do y'all think? Is it was just too much too soon for people to handle, or they just didn't have their coffee that morning, and then they just wanted to strike out and, and, and hit anybody they could until they really felt better about themselves. But until we take race out the picture, we take culture out the picture, and we take these labels on whether you're black, white, Asian, Indian, Eskimo out, we as a humanity won't be together. We'll always be separate and divided totally on 
any aspect of trying to be rational with one another. And that's just my opinion and my opinionated opinion at that. So y'all get down in the comments and y'all tell me what y'all thought about this situation. That it won't go away, y'all. It won't go away. Probably one for the textbooks, okay? <laughs> because until our spirit change on how we look at another person. For the positive, nothing would come out of this scenario with Whoopi. She's just the first person. Like I like I said, I think she did it for shop value, and she probably was feeling herself. And let me say, let me she was like, let me just say what I really feel today, cause I'm feeling I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Okay, and she just made that statement, that blank that blank statement that she was totally ready to accept. And she had accepted it. But the company that she works for, I'm like, oh, no, not today, baby girl. <laughs> Why you didn't wait till you had put in your resignation and we knew you were going out the door for you to express all your opinions on one platter of a, a presentation we was giving for that day. But all oh, hell to the no, no, no. You get back up there and you tell them people, even though that may be how you feel, we're not paying you to tell us how you truly feel. We want you to be soft-spoken up there. Give a little bit of yourself, but not all. And so you don't went over there. You don't took over the reins like it's your show. Like you get paid. And you don't have sponsors to ask them to and, and endorsers and all this. Now, baby girl, get back up there and tell them folks. Well, you can't say you weren't lying because it was you telling the truth out your own dog on mouth. But you go up there and say you just misspoke. <laughs> It would be like they said the whipper would raise a hell over there. Oh Lord, they said that woman would raise a hell over there. Cause you know, Whippy was just speaking her mind. That woman not racist. She not racist. They probably have one racist bone in her body. Now, why she don't get with the black and she wants to swirl over there? I have no idea. But it has to. I'm assuming it has to be. She had got done wrong by maybe a couple or a few black men or African American men, and she just said, "Forget it." Like it. I don't want to be in t entertained. I don't want to be in bother with y'all. I'm finna go over here on, on, on this race and see who I can get to love on me. And of course, she did it three times. The first two times, one time she got married was a year. The other one, two years. And the last one, it was six years. But maybe Whip, Whip is just not meant to be married. You know what I'm saying? She's just one of those people where she can have a companion here and there. Just somebody to spend time with. Do the little bedroom mambo here and there. And then she could just be by herself. And, you know, to tell you what, I'm getting like that. I still want to um, be entertained with being a, a wife again. But if that doesn't play out, and I, I leave it up to the Lord, of course. I'm cool. I love who I am. I, I, I love enjoying being with people. But the, the houses of a relationship. And these days and times. Child. And you ain't got to do nothing but lie to me one time. It, it could be about you going and get me some fries. And you end up at the wrong restaurant and bring me back a cheeseburger. That can end a relationship right there. <laughs> Cause my mouth was sitting there want some french fries and you know sit up here and say you, you you thought i would be better you know off with these don't go what did i ask you to do okay what did i ask you i didn't tell you i asked you to do that for me and if you come back with well, wh whatever i didn't ask you for it's a problem and, and I'd I be thinking like you don't love me because you, you you disrespected me you know what i'm saying you didn't inform me of the plans being changed prior to you coming back home and see that would get your ass kicked out <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, but that's one for the books y'all that's one for the books but y'all get down in those comments y'all let me know what y'all thought about this article this mess that's going on with Whoopi and them trying to cancel her and fire her and all this kind of ridiculousness just because she spoke her mind her own personated opinion very opinionated opinion at that and you know was she right was she wrong in my eyes no uh -uh, she's 66 years old she should be able to say everything she want to say as long as she don't curse god in it you know what i'm saying well but if she ain't curse god in it child please <laughs> speak your mind with it you're 66 years old you deserve it you are awarded to do so okay and other people just gotta fall in line fall in line child but that's all i got y'all and i will see y'all next video take care Bye bye